and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the abs and must do's for a smooth last couple of days. And it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And talking about squeezing lemons, I have this awesome freezer friendly recipe that it's a garlic lemony cheesy mashed potatoes. Hey guys, and here we go. Um, like I said, the video is going to be about the last couple of days of me being pregnant and setting my house straight um, for those couple of days leading up to my delivery date. So, and like I said, I have a lemon garlic uh, chicken recipe for you guys with a side of cheesy mashed potatoes. Also, this recipe can be frozen. Just to guys let you know, you guys cook the chicken beforehand. The sauce you do this, you're gonna do the sauce next, and then you're gonna put it in a, a small little Ziploc bag and store it next to the chicken. You don't want to make everything and put it all. It's gonna get mushy and it's not gonna be no good. Also with the mashed potatoes, um, I'm gonna show you how to make them because I'm not gonna just be mashing them. I'm gonna be actually putting them through a strainer and try and trying to get them as smooth as I can. Now, I'll put tips on how what else you could do if you guys don't want to strain your hand by doing the strainer. So let's get started with the chicken. Now in the, in the Zippo bag I have one chicken breast size sliced thinly and the long one. You guys can double this recipe. I'll put the, the, the recipe down in the description. So in here I have salt, lemon pepper seasoning and the chicken breast. It's already marinated so a couple of too much. And now I'm gonna put it in a hot pan so it can get going. Feel that sizzle, it's so good. Well, that chicken is getting. While the chicken is getting cooked, and the I'm gonna show you the mashed potatoes. I, I already did some already, but I have a couple potatoes in here. Now you're gonna boil the potatoes with a clove of garlic cut in half, drop it in there with the boiling water, drop it in with the uh, potatoes, and make sure the potatoes are cooked extra tender. So I'll show you how this looks. Well, I mix, I have a couple, not a lot. Now, Remember the um, what I told you about the garlic. Now the garlic is going to be so soft and so tender that you can actually mix it in, and it's going to give the potatoes flavor. And you scrape off the bottom. have that all set and I'm going to my tongs so I can flip this chicken because it's almost done. Since they cut, you cut them so thinly, the process is going to go so fast. So that's good. <laughs> Since you're pregnant, you don't want to be too much in the kitchen. It's hot, especially for you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hot all the time. Um, and it is summer still here. All right. So that's almost done cooking. Ready? Because we're going to take them out. We're going to take them out and we're going to do the sauce in here. And like I was saying guys, when you're pregnant, you do not want to think about too much of what's going to come for dinner unless you have cravings like I do. And also, you want things fast but good and flavorful. Now these are a couple of ingredients that you part already have in your house and they're easy. Here I'm going to add because I want that, that flavor that the chicken left is going to have so much flavor. So I'm going to add cornstarch. Now you guys can make a roux which is um, two parts uh, of any oil, butter, um, and flour just to thicken it up. And I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken stock. 
just to skim off all those bits. Yes, so I was, when I was planning this meal, I didn't want to take too long since I was in bed rest and I told my husband, oh my God, I do not want to cook too much. What am I going to do? Because I just want to have an easy day, easy couple of days actually. So the cornstarch is actually going to reduce and you can add the lemon zest. Well, that's bubbling, you're going to put a little bit of salt. Turn it down to low, and you're gonna add lemon juice. And I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. And now this is gonna simmer for a little bit, and it's gonna once it thickens up a little bit, you're gonna put the chicken back in. Now I'm gonna put in the chicken. We're gonna let it simmer for a couple more minutes. Everything's all set. So once this has cooked down and the sauce has reduced and everything is cooked through and everything's just nice and good, you're gonna put it to the side. Now, we're gonna start with the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna heat them up on medium heat, like you see right now, I just moved it and I slid it. And I'm gonna put in some milk. Now, I have a half a cup of milk here but you're not gonna need a lot. I just wanted to see how uh, dry my potatoes are. And from there we can always add or just slow it down. Mix it. So just get them all moist enough again. At this point, you're going to start adding little by little the cheese. And it's just mozzarella cheese. I have about a cup, a cup, a cup and a half in here. these schedules or these tips for myself because I do have two other kids and I want to make sure that they're all set and also myself because it is hard it's hard to have toddlers and kids and babies and being pregnant and trying to figure out the last couple of days and you also want to be relaxed I'm gonna add the rest of the cheese and you're gonna add a little bit of salt so I'm hoping that these rest this recipe helps also that um, these tips help you for ooh, look how cheesy that is. Ooh. Ooh. That's okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of the milk left over. Just so it can just and they're gonna be nice and creamy and cheesy. Look at that. Ooh. I'm so excited. This is supposed to be for my husband. This is gonna be party for me. This is all set and all done. I just wanna taste it. I just saw it and I'm like, I have to taste the milk. Just a little bit more salt. And they're all set. You're not gonna regret making this recipe. It is so delicious. So, oh. all right. So thank you guys. Now that's all done. It's so easy. Now, one tip I wanna give you guys. You do not wanna make the mashed potatoes like I did right now with the cheese and the milk. Um, you guys wanna mesh it all up. Just put it in a Ziploc bag or, or whatever container you guys wanna store and put it in the freezer. Um, I would suggest to grate already the cheese and put it next to it in the container or in a, in a small little bag and put it next to the mashed potatoes. Also the chicken. You do not want to make the chicken with the sauce. So you are really not going to um, need that extra much time just to heat everything up basically. <laughs> One of the things that I noticed from my previous uh, um, pregnancies and my c-sections was that I needed to plan ahead not just in the cooking process or the prepping on uh, my hospital bag or uh, taking who's gonna take care of the kids but also checking what's on the freezer and also what's in my fridge now let's start from the beginning 
my countdown and the must do's because since I'm having a C-section and nobody's gonna be in my house, um, use up the fresh produce that you have. Either boil them, if you have like vegetables that are hardier, like broccoli, cauliflower, um, carrots, anything that you think it's gonna spoil between those four days that you're gonna be in the hospital, cook them, boil them, um, or you can make them into a creative dish. I have some good recipes for freezer friendly ones if you guys want to hear them and want me to show you guys. I can definitely make a video and give you all the recipes for those. Also, um, having snacks for the kids. I actually went grocery shopping last week and I packed my um, pantry with snacks. Not just for my house, but for their grandma's house because of the fact that they're staying over their grandma's house. And also when I come back from my C-section, I don't want to fight, argue, or even think about the grocery store. Trust me, snacks are a must in my house and I'm pretty sure in yours too. Also, I made about two to three quick meals that I put in the freezer. Um, I made one today, which is the lemon garlic one. And I hope you guys like. And remember, that, that would help you guys when you come home. When you guys come home from the hospital. Also, any appointments with the kids, if they're coming up, try to move them up if you can. Make sure your husband um, helps you out. It's That's one of the things I recommend. Hubbies can help. Family members can help um, for those days. So when you're going, when you're coming home, you know that you're gonna have to schedule with a pediatrician or yourself. You just wanna focus on the baby and yourself. So if you can get all the kids uh, appointments and all the kids things out of the way beforehand so you can focus on yourself, that is a great way for your family members to help you and also your hubby to help you. And you could relax and not think about it. You can just rest and be comfortable. Make sure you guys are set with your, um, the baby stuff. Diapers, cribs, um, make sure they rearrange the room. If she's going to be staying in your room and not in the nursery just yet. Make sure you guys are fully stocked in everything. It's just an easy flow. Flow for you guys to just come home and relax. I know for me, being four days in the hospital was, I wanted to come home right away. I was like, oh my God, can I come home already? I just wanna go home, be in my, in my environment and just be able to feel comfortable. I would also recommend getting rest this is more for um you and the rest of like those couple days leading up um for you mama get lots of rest rest relax um try to just be in a comfortable space um it doesn't matter if it's you know your bed or because i know i'm on bed rest but uh, i know that i can't um i don't know if i guys told you my couch is like my best friend who cares if you guys are messy Moms are not supposed to be like, oh my god, yes, I have to have everything prim and proper. But those couple of days, you just take your time. If you feel like doing your makeup and feel like doing your hair, go for it. I'm not opposed to it. Sometimes I feel like doing it. But mainly, I don't care if I'm a mess. I don't care if I have a stain in my shirt. It's fine. Uh, so just who cares? It's just you. Relax. You know, nobody's judging you that I want to tell you guys. You should have said first. Um, Talk to your kids. I know I talk to my daughter, and I know my toddler, my baby is only one, but I do tell him just to be, make them aware that they're gonna have a sibling or a new arrival, just so they're not like, oh my goodness, what is this? Make them feel like they're gonna interact with you and the baby, and they're not just left out. If you guys haven't already, like I said, with the nursery or with the baby stuff, make sure your bag is already set and ready to go in your car so i'll see you guys soon Bye -bye.